would like to talk about serverless with Clojure, and you all know what serverless is, so I'm just going to say Clojure, that's a Lisp that is running on the JVM. And um, my name is Lars Trilov. I'm um, just think of somebody who likes trees very much. Um, you can find me on Twitter and on GitHub. And I promised I'm not going to use any images in this presentation, so this is, this is a Unicode only um, presentation, and I know this is a lightning talk, so I brought my own clock. Let's get started. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to build an HTTP API for Excel, because Excel is a great functional programming language for business people. I know you won't believe me, but um, I think it needs an HTTP API, and that's what I call Excelsior. You can find it on GitHub. Um, and now the question is, why in the world would you want to do this? And the reason for this is I'm a nerd, and I like to use nerdy programming languages, and Clojure just fits the bill. Any other nerds here? Yeah! Okay, so, um, and um, Clojure is a functional programming language. Um, functional programming language is all about lambdas. I love lambdas. And um, I read about um, 12-factor applications. I thought, okay, this next time I'm doing everything right. Um, I'm going to use Swagger to document everything. And um, then I thought, okay, well, this is just a hobby project, right? Do I want to spend big bucks, like $50 a month for an EC2 instance? No, I don't want to do that. And this is where AWS Lambda comes in. It says, the promise is, don't spend big bucks on EC2. I really want to do this, right? And not having a server, that makes me happy. And that saves me money, which makes me even more happy. So my thought was, um, AWS Lambda plus Clojure Lambda, that's a match made in heaven, right? And um, that sounds good. It sounds too good. It sounds too good to be true, and you all know things that sound too good to be true, they often aren't. So what happens? Um, what happens is you pick one technology, um, Closure, you pick another one, Lambda, and you end up in a very small intersection, and that's exactly the intersection you see here. And um, now the question is, what do you make out of this? And um, what I did was I picked a number of um, libraries, a number of components. Um, I picked Composure API, which is essentially a swagger wrapper for Closure, um, built by a couple of Finnish guys, really cool. There's um, the Ring AWS Lambda adapter, which is turning an a Clojure web application into an AWS Lambda function. Very cool. I'm using Doctor, written by a, a Danish guy, um, which is turning Excel into, if, in, into um, Clojure functions. I'm using Circle CI for continuous integration. I said I want to do everything right. And I'm using um, a Clojure uh, or the Lining Lambda integration, which allows me to deploy automatically. So what does it look like? Um, basically, my code is wrapping Clojure, which is being wrapped by Composure, which is being wrapped by Lambda. Um, this is being exported to Swagger, imported into API Gateway, and um, I have an automated build through Liningen, which is um, being deployed to Lambda. That's the architecture, very simple. And you might ask, well, things are going fine, right? Are there, are there problems? And yes, there are problems. If you end up in a very small intersection, this means if you run into problems, you have to build the tools yourself. So one of the first things I did was I built a tool for automatically deploying um, through lining in into API Gateway. Um, and one of the cool things about this is um, Amazon actually built an API, uh, a Swagger API Gateway importer, and then um, broke that functionality because they extended their own SDK. So um, I built that actually twice. Um, AWS API Gateway, let's just say Lambda is very, Lambda is great technology. API Gateway makes me angry because it's written API first. Unfortunately, that API is not sufficiently documented. And well, then we have to talk about IAM permissions. And IAM permissions, that just makes me cry. It's completely complicated, um, way too much for, for my um, mental capacity. So um, the thing that you need to know is AWS Lambda add permission, function name, statement ID, and so on, right? So um, it's good that it's now on SlideShare. Other tips that I have for you? Yes, I do. Number one, think small. Right? Your Lambda functions should be as tiny as a mouse, 100 lines of code uh, enough. Number two, think modular. 
it's better to have two lambda functions that dance um, instead of having one um, that is just sitting around. And for this reason, I actually split um, Excelsior in two and built Salvador, which is um, responsible for the rendering part. Number three, think stateless. So simplicity, performance, and composability, this is all what you get out of a stateless um, society of lambdas. So statelessness is not just for pirates, it's also for lambdas. Be lazy. So um, Isaac Newton said he's, he was standing on the shoulders of giants. Standing on shoulders of giants, that's for people who have way too much energy. Sit on shoulders of giants. Use other people's code. Um, don't, re don't reinvent the wheel. Simply steal and re um, reuse. So what I'm doing is most of my work is being done by Typeform, which is the user interface. Um, most of the storage is being done by S3, and I'm using browser redirects um, for communicating between the two applications. The last one is smile and share. So community is eating code for breakfast. Um, this, the Clojure community has been absolutely fantastic in getting this application up and running. Whenever I ran into an issue, I could just chat up the Finnish guys in the Slack channel, and they would fix it and push out a release um, within five minutes. Um, talking to AWS, that, ha that would take a bit, um, a bit longer. So um, we are seven minutes in, which means time's up. Um, what I want to share is AWS Lambda and Clojure Lambda. Yes, you can make it work. It might be an arranged marriage, but you can make it work. Um, rainbow, another thing, rainbow parenthesis, that just makes everyone happy. Um, and um, that's it. Thank you.